the interaction. You know, you could, you could listen, man. I, I agree with what you say is war. I'll bump somebody out of the way to get in front of another client. Yeah. And it's not even who's more effective at it. It's really, in my case, it's who's fastest. Yes. I can send the client faster than you can. I can get in front of a client faster than a title company can. I get in front of a client faster than a signing service. I'm, I want to respond to the client as fast as is possible because you can't beat speed. If somebody, and notary is very unique in the sense that people who are looking for notaries, they usually, they're fast and they want answers. That's why they call you. Mm -hmm. They I, I want to answer right now. I'm not emailing you because you might never read the email. You might read it two days from now. I want to, I know people who look for notaries, they behave in a certain way. That's why they call. So I put all my resources into getting to answering that person's question the fastest. And if I get in front of them faster than you can, then you're dead. You're, it's a wrap for you because once they get in front of me, it's over. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I want to force the amount of interaction I have with the customers. I want to jump in front of them as, as quickly as possible, respond to them as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. And I don't care if it's 5,000 people or if it's five people. If they get in front of me, there's a uh, there's a a 78 percent chance that i'm going to close them and and at that point it's just the only remaining question at that point is how many more people can i get in front of yeah yeah because your sales this has already been tested it's already been validated it's already been uh approved you know it, it works and now it's just a matter of how much can i take or how little can i take how much can I actually, what capacity can I actually run at? You know, you got the, you got the Mustang engine. You going to redline it to the end? I mean, how long can you do that? Or do you back off and just cruise at 60? I mean, you know, you kind of modulate it up and down, but I believe that man, pay traffic is absolutely, you can't, it's not impossible to scale without it. I don't think it's, no way. No, it is. It's impossible to scale without it. Impossible. I'm going I'm to stand on it. It's impossible to grow without paycheck it, it um so it, i have it broken down and shout out to my mentor out there in uh in atlanta lamar tyler right he broke it down there are three ways of getting traffic you can you can either build it which is organically right you could buy it which is advertising advertising spaces and stuff like that or you can borrow it now, the borrowing one is, is, is interesting because this is where you do collaborations, right? This is where you collaborate with other. And, and, and let me say it like this, because I, I just saw the uh, interview with 19 Keys and Dame Dash. I love Dame Dash. Like people call me Diddy, but I, I, Dame Dash is like the number one for me, right? Um, Dame Dash says, I like to do business with other generals that have armies, right? So when I think about uh, borrowed traffic, right? You technically do not want to collaborate with someone that is just a one-off type of person, right? You wanna, you wanna collaborate with another general, another general that also has an army because that is what allows you to grow exponentially. So if I'm gonna do, uh, you know, have a notary service or I'm gonna do a master class or something like that, I'm not gonna look for a person that has like, you know, one person or or five people on a, on a list. I'm gonna look for a person that has like 500, 5,000, 50,000, 500,000 and I'm going to reach out to that general because they already have a influence. Yeah, Notary Nation. That uh that Dame Dash with 19 keys was heavy. Um so doing borrowing uh traffic from other people that have armies is really really um uh, incredible because that's where you see people come up with affiliations. Like you want to be an affiliate of this company. Well, they're going to see that you have an audience. They're not just going to give you an ambassador ticket 
if you have no audience like that. They want to reach a large amount of people in a short period of time, and they know that you have nurtured these people. These people have trusted you. You have you have now become an influencer in your market and an authority. So the probability of you rep uh, that the probability of you introducing my product to your audience it, it it grows that much quicker, and then our sales begin to you know, come in and then, of course, they break bread, they, you know, chop off 30%, 20%, 50%, whatever they do. But that is that that is the next tier. So you can either buy, build, or borrow. Want to add to that, Tech? Yeah, I think, yeah, the easiest thing, for me, it's always been the, the organic traffic is always the, the I'll, I enjoy that. It's, uh, it's less frustrating, <laughs> right? It's, it feels more natural. And then um, the 